This release has a number of enhancements, but I'll cover what I feel are the top 10. First, if you want to capture some important details of your structure, you can do that. Notice a new description field in the New Structure dialog. This will save data to either native or team center environments. If you've ever wanted to cap a butt joint off to geometry outside of Structure Designer, you can now do that. Let's create some small mounting stops, guaranteeing fit and position with the existing design, and cap it off at the very top of that rail. Create the member as you would normally do, position it where you need to, then suck the corner, the butt joint, and trim it off to external geometry. And just like that, you've got some type of a mounting stop. As we add bolted connections, we've added a new option to allow the bolt to go through the entire square tubing. This is pretty important because it's going to be awful hard to get your fingers up inside that tube to get the nuts on the back of it. Notice the option that lets you apply a hole through the entire member. While this is an end plate type butt joint, we do have support for others. Here, we'll add a flat plate and again, have the hole go through the entire member. This makes manufacturing much easier when you have closed profile shapes such as square tubing. We'll unhide some others in the model to give you an idea of exactly what this looks like across the entire assembly. Enhancement number five is speeding the placement of multiple gussets. Create them like you would normally do. Pick your reinforcement face, attachment face, then a new option for alignment face allows you to pick geometry, whether it's in the structure or not, and align things to that. Watch as we walk down the model and add several in one operation. This makes applying gussets much faster. Each one is independently editable. We've added additional options for component naming. An enhancement not shown is the ability to inherit and overwrite a component name assigned from Team Center. This gives you the ability to leverage a top level assembly and apply that name to all the members. Of course, an index will be used to guarantee uniqueness. You always have the option to start the indexing at 0 or 1, but a new option allows you to have independent indexes for each object type. Notice how the end cap begins at 1, the mounting foot begins at 1, and so on and so forth. Another enhancement that we have made is adding a fixed constraint automatically to all created geometry. So if you want to constrain other parts to your structure, things like members and such will stay fixed in space. You do have the option to choose what components get the fixed constraint. The last two enhancements are for the consolidate command. A popular enhancement number 9 will allow you to add components outside of the structure into your consolidated list. So if you have components like small mounting tabs, those could be added to the consolidated list and later be added to a weldment. Let's see how this process works. First, you consolidate the assemble as you normally would do, but notice the option that we have up there for select external components. Then, simply pick whatever component that you want. Here, we'll pick these small mounting feet. These components will eventually get welded to that top rail and drilled and tapped. With this new enhancement, it's easy to create a very detailed weldment of things that are in your structure and external components. Speaking of weldments, one of my personal favorites here is the ability to add a weldment right from the navigator. Let's unpack everything and start to pick some components. A rectangle select will let us identify all of those components inside of our consolidated list. Then it's a matter of right-clicking on the navigator list, giving it a name, and repeating the process. The key enhancement here is the right-click behavior. For a quick visual inspection, we'll toggle the weld color on and off so you can see exactly what components are included in the weldment. Now, it's just a matter of creating a drawing and setting the data to the shop floor.